Yo, 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 guys, it's Bash Brother One. It's been a while. Did some vacation, had some personal stuff come up, but uh, yeah, I've been doing this video edit for a while. This is the rookie video for new players, so we're going to jump right into it. Uh, how to join an alliance. A lot of people don't know. Press the alliance tab. So there's going to be a main page here. You got join and apply. Joins automatic. Apply is R5 or R4 needs to have preview. Up here, you can see your invites or requests, you know, your application requests or your invites. So join a join a clan, guys, and it's the best way you're going to get stronger with an alliance. So how to re relocate your alliance after joining. So press your backpack and you're going to see this little item here, Alliance Teleporter. This is going to take you the closest spot next to your alliance leader. So we're going to do this and just confirm teleport. And uh, simple as that, guys. Um, it's all you need to do. And now you can participate in rallies and all the other uh, events. So how to change your name. So press up top is your avatar. So press up top by your avatar. Uh, so now right there, the edit button there, little pencil. And you can edit your name here. So choose something uh, has to be appropriate. You can't really, you know, raunchy words. So just be smart guys, cost 400 gems, or you can go to the shop and there's the chief rename cards. So Alliance shop is where I found them. I haven't seen them anywhere else. So hit your Alliance tab, hit the shop button in your Alliance. This one's kind of hidden. There's two tabs, today and week. Um, right now, I don't see any, so it they do pop up there. So custom avatars, you see my little Mario. So personal picture, press the picture. Now we're going to upload the avatar. So press that, press here, upload. You got 72 hours between custom avatars. Remember that guys, if you choose one that you don't want, it won't happen. So you get into your album, pick one of your favorite photos. Uh, don't be silly guys. Uh, can't put anything explicit on there, like nothing bad. So once you pick it, crop it to fit, hit done. Confirm. Now it's under review. It will appear pretty quick, but there it is, guys. That's what it looks like. Now you can switch skins. You can do this early on. So furnaces, marches, avatar, nameplates, they all have skins. So you got your city. Uh, there's a bunch. Uh, four tabs. Like I said, city, marches, nameplates, and avatars. They unlock over time and during events. So just be patient. Uh, redeeming gift codes. A lot of you guys know how to do this but settings so yeah once that's pressed guys uh, go to the gift code tab this is where you can enter in your codes I find my codes on the whiteout discord uh, channel or in the world chat or clan chat uh, so I like using the clipboard and copy and paste it's really quick and get rewards just like that uh, even whales use this so use your codes guys how to keep your survivors alive. This is a common question for new players. So go to your furnace, enable max power. I have it enabled right from the start anytime I create a farm. Same thing with my meals. Press your cookhouse. Uh, we, got, we got different meal types. Some people might not know this, but there's this little food production tab. Press that little yellow tab there. And you're gonna see three meal types. I use the fancy meals. Um, you can use, you can try it out, guys. But fancy meals is the best. Uh, do lots of rallies, get lots of meat, lots of coal. You won't have this issue. So now let's go to the listman office. This is pretty big if you get attacked. So this is only if you get attacked. So a percentage of your troops lost show up here. This is from defense. Remember this, guys. So you can enlist them. These troops, as I said, are from defending towns only, not offense. You can get more loyalty tags if you don't have loyalty in the gem shop. Uh, this is the far right tab in the shops. You'll see right here, they cost a thousand. Loyalty is critical during PvP. If your enlistment office is full, you lose the troops forever. So like your hospital, try not let this overfill. Um, you can see I use my loyalty. It's empty. It recovers over time. Use shields to avoid spending gems in the shop on loyalty tags because you get free shields. So use those shields up and it'll come back. Chief's House, the Edicts, uh, you guys have used this if you completed the tutorial. So there's six to choose from. Uh, everyone's favorite is the Double Time. 
This is the construction boost, guys. 20% for five minutes. Make sure you have lots of resources. Funny thing I say resources. There's the rush job. Gives you instant resource. So use this actually daily, guys. So every 24 hours you can use it. I still use it. Um, comprehensive care. This is used for new players mainly. Heals all six survivors. Uh, it, it's, it's critical. You don't want to lose any survivors, guys. So use that daily, too, if you have sick people boost production for night shift that was in the tutorial festivities if you use that boost your mood and comfort of all survivors it's a good edict to use and productivity day this also boosts your resource production so if you're having time make a uh, problem with resources use your edicts daily guys since i affected their mood let's check out the suggestion box so press down the little envelope and here we're going to see SOS messages, answer them correctly for gems, and to boost mood of your survivors. And let's see the rewards for this. So the approval rating, uh, it has different rewards, the uh, higher rating for better moods. Uh, they lock in uh, daily at reset. So remember to try and make your survivors happiest before the reset. Uh, you can claim the rewards like five minutes after reset I believe so let's go answer some just try and answer as nice as possible sometimes you can get some decent replies that are kind of funny if you go the opposite way um, yeah play around with it my main account basically it stays at 99% and I let it like grow like it grows a huge list so letters Early on, show what you should be working on in your city to improve survivors' mood. So if you're having a bunch of survivors getting sick, check your letters out, okay? Drill camp. A lot of questions here. Uh, your five highest levels of your heroes are your instructors. So the strong, uh, not the strongest, but the highest level. Heroes and drill slots will level to your lowest power, uh, your lowest level hero. So I'm going to put Gina in here, and you see... No XP needed to level up these drill heroes. It just instantly. So level 33. XP used to level instructors will then upgrade your drill slot hero. So let's see what happens when I upgrade my instructors. Okay. So I'm going to level them up here and give you guys an example of what goes on. So going through it. Just level up your instructors only. So you can do level resets because Gina was level seven. I'm going to reset her and I'm going to get some experience here. So I'm going to get that, that experience back and now I can upgrade. And we'll see, I believe I get to level 37. So I went from level 33, all heroes are minimum. Now everyone's level 37. So my overall power has increased. Uh, it's a big win guys. Uh, it's one way to I really like that feature. Um, you can use the keys to get more experience. Once again, guys, hopefully you rookies learned something here. Please like the video, subscribe. I'm going to try and break down for new players a lot of things that are just common to us. Uh, there's lots of questions on Discord. The mods are doing a great job, but it's continuously the same questions. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Cheers. And uh, hopefully see you guys state for state soon. Peace out.